Welcome back to another Gargle News. Today we're going to be discussing a bunch of newly announced stuff, as well as games that are facing controversy. Uh, let's get right into it. To start, Universal has released images of their new theme park, Epic Universe, which has many people excited for the release. The park will feature five worlds. Uh, the first one will be Celestial Park, which will be a futuristic section that serves as kind of like a middle walking area to get to all the other worlds. Next, there's Dark Universe, which is a world that's centered on monsters like Frankenstein and all those, um, which should be pretty interesting. It continues then with Harry Potter, which is, they have two worlds already, so this is their third, the Ministry of Magic. I'm not personally familiar with Harry Potter, but it looks pretty cool, so I'm excited for that. One that's sure to be a joy for many gamers is the Nintendo World, which looks to be an epic world full of legendary video games come to life. And last up, personally my favorite, and what I'm most excited for, is the How to Train Your Dragon Isle of Burke which incorporates both the Viking elements and the dragons. That's sure going to be an amazing time. I'm excited. That's pretty cool. Now in some other news, there's some game controversy. The new popular game, Pow World, is now in some hot water after Pokemon announced that they would be investigating the game for copyright purposes. While I have not personally played the game, I have heard a lot about it and people seem to enjoy the game. I've also seen a lot of comparisons that make some characters look exactly like Pokemon. So we'll see what happens with this. FNCS is here, and in 2024, Epic Games will be giving out over $7.5 million across all three majors. The first major is occurring right now, uh, and the final will be in February. The second starts in April, with the final happening in May. And the third and final major will be in J June and July, followed by potentially an F FNCS Grand Final later this year. Also in this week's news, more like month's news, I've been getting into tech a lot, so this is probably going to be a new segment, but we got some tech news. AMD just announced their new 8000 series chips, or Ryzen chips. The chips will be compatible with their recent AM5 sockets. The reason I bring this up is because of the crazy compatibil or capabilities of this chip. Specifically, the 8700G. The onboard graphics of this CPU beat the power of some GPUs. It can pull over 100 FPS on Fortnite, on low settings. That's about as good as my laptop 1650. This is the best any CPU's onboard graphics has ever been. It will cost you a pretty penny though as the 8700G is said to MSRP at 329 when released. This is hopefully good for me though when I build my PC this summer as it could push down some uh, CPU prices. I would also talk about the new AI GPUs, but I'm frankly tired of hearing and talking about AI stuff, so I'll spare you for today. Plus, I don't feel like researching it, and I'm sure tech channels have it covered as well if you'd want to hear more about it. Anyway, that's going to be all for this week. Thanks for watching this edition of Gargoyle News. Comment what you are most interested in seeing, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.